Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom, brought to you by AmmoLand.com, and I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle. And today we're going to talk about a so subject, easy for me to say, we're going to talk about a subject that I'll call Searching for Judas. Now right now in the United States of America, we are obviously embroiled in a battle there's one side that thinks that the peasants should be disarmed, and then there's the other side that says, we're not peasants, we're citizens, and we have a God-given right to protect and defend ourselves as affirmed by the United States Constitution, and that includes bearing arms of our choice, not two shots or three shots or four shots or what have you, or only bolt actions. All right, so we've got that argument going on, and as we have that argument going on, the American patriot gun owner is paying very, very close attention to the landscape and they're looking around and they're looking at those in the industry who are supposed to be our allies. They're looking for allies, but they're also looking for Judas. They're searching for Judas. They're waiting for that one gun company or ammo company or shooting industry company to cut a deal with the devil. And woe to you, shooting industry company, that cuts a deal with the devil because it's going to be the worst PR move you ever made. But what we have right now is we have a lot of folks that are searching for Judas and they're waiting for that, you know, that other shoe to drop. They're like, ah, I knew you guys were going to betray us. While they're looking for those people and they're searching for them, there are actually Judas's uh, or Judai, depends on how you pronounce that. What is the plural of Judas? Uh, people out there that are betraying you as we speak and have already betrayed you. I'm going to go ahead and give one to you. Dick Sporting Goods. American Patriot gun owners, Dick Sporting Goods threw you under the bus quick, fast, and in a hurry. They couldn't wait to throw you under the bus. And if for you, those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the moment after the Sandy Hook thing happened, which apparently was the legal gun owners and the NRA's fault, uh, according to the news, uh, Dick Sporting Goods pulled First of all, Dick's didn't used to carry black rifles or AR-type rifles. Uh, they didn't carry them for years, and they never carry handguns. Well, they started carrying them. Why? Well, because Americans wanted to buy them from them. So they're like, well, okay, we'll carry them. Well, Sandy Hook happened, and they immediately, without being told to, right, they just made a corporate decision to pull all those guns off the shelves and cancel all their existing orders for AR-style stoner semi-automatic rifles. And they told their customers, suck it, we don't care if you ordered one, we're not going to deliver it to you, so get it from someone else. Well, Dick's Sporting Goods, they held up to their moniker. And I hope that you guys, that you Patriot gun owners, will do them a favor and provide them with many, many extra empty parking spaces in their lots and keep their aisles clear of you. Because I, for one, won't give Dick's another penny of my money. Now let's talk about Hollywood hypocrites. I'm going to go ahead. Do you not know that people in Hollywood are anti-gun left-wing people? Okay, you know that, right? Uh, but they're also hypocrites. You got these, here we go, Hollywood people get out and they do this black and white, really serious video about demand a plan, demand this, demand that. You know what, Hollywood? I demand that you shut up and stop preaching to me. Because you same pieces of crap that make millions and billions of dollars annually in shoot 'em up killing, murder, action m movies, it doesn't bother you to put a gun in your hand and go on the, the video screen, go on the movie screen, and just bah, 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 shoot people all day long. That's okay. But then you look out into the country at we peasants and say, you peasants should not be allowed to have those kind of guns. So. And at you as a Patriot gun owner, if you keep going to the movies and paying the movie price and buying tickets to the movies of these people that think you're a peasant and shouldn't own guns, what are you thinking? You know, they're the Judas right there. Stop giving them your money, okay? Right now, in the United States, you need to take a stand. Vote with your wallet. Vote with your wallet. If someone has come out publicly and said, we think that President Obama needs to do something to curb gun violence, which is bull crap. It's human violence. A gun is an inanimate object, but I digress. If they come out and they publicly say that you should not have a gun, don't give them your money. Quit buying their stuff. 
Okay, it's as easy as that. Like, oh, it's not that easy. Yes, it is. It's all about choices. Don't sit there and thump your chest and say, I'm a proud American gun owner, and I went and saw Django Unchained and plunked down my eight fifty or 9 bucks or whatever it was to give uh, freaking Jamie Foxx and those, those Hollywood pukes my money. You're wrong. You're freaking wrong. Those people don't like you. They think you're a peasant. They think you're a sucker that's just going to keep on giving them money. They can say whatever they want. They can tell the president to disagree arm you and you're just going to keep giving them your money because you're too stupid not to. Stop it. Knock it off. If you really are a patriot and you're looking for Judas, Judas is all around you. They're already there. Stop supporting them with your money. All right. Are we got that? Are we, are we down? All right. Well, I'm going to stop saying that right now and let's move on to the recommended reading homework section. If you are, or if you hold yourself as a genuine patriot gun owner, you might want to pick up a book like this one right here. This is The Political Thought of the American Revolution by Clinton Rossiter. I picked this one up at a second-hand store a couple of years ago, read it. This thing is gold. This book is worth its weight in gold. You know why? Because it was written before the modern political correctness and that has whitewashed and basically brainwashed our children into forgetting about the founding of this nation. So, The Political Thoughts of the American Revolution, it's available right now as a used book from Amazon.com. And, hey what, as an added benefit, you can go to studentofthegun.com and you can order it from our affiliate section. So, where are you going to go for all things firearms related? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com.